This is Kel Kellogg, and I'm inviting you to join me at Collins Lake aboard the FHS pontoon boat. Look at all these big, beautiful Collins Lake trout we've caught over the past year. The lake level is up, fall trout plants are underway, and I've got a lot of availability for instructional trout fishing trips. Go on over to fishhuntshoot.com. Book your trip today, and we'll be yelling fish on tomorrow. Howdy guys, Kel Kellogg here. I'm out at Collins Lake, just got off the Howdy guys, Cal Kellogg here. Just finished up a guide trip and uh, I actually had an interesting question out on the boat today. Kind of an interesting experience, really. Um, I had some avid fishermen on the boat and I've been mixing in some bait fishing with the trolling, kind of breaking up the day. We've been working some coves and some backwater areas with power bait um, and with inflated worms, just picking up some bonus fish and you know demonstrating how to fish bait, how to rig up, how to use spinning rods, stuff like that. And uh, I told one guy today that we were gonna put an inflated worm on his rod. And he said, an, an inflated worm? What's an inflated worm? He knew what power bait was, but he'd never fished with an inflated worm. And uh, I showed him how to rig it up. He thought it was pretty amazing. So I'm gonna show you guys how to rig up an inflated worm. You might think it's pretty amazing too. Let's check it out. So let me show you the rig first. This is the main line. I got a spinning rod here. This is the main line coming down. I've got it threaded through a bullet weight right there. A sliding sinker rig, got a swivel right there. And on that swivel, I have 20 inches of six pound test fluorocarbon line. And I just have a small red octopus hook on the end of that. Same exact rig I would use for fishing power bait. So let's get down to it. Let's get down to the, the dirty business of inflating a worm. And let me tell you right off the bat, it is not good to be a worm. <laughs> <laughs> Let me grab one and I'll show you why. Okay, I'm back. I got my Easy Pack night crawlers. Had kind of a crazy shadow there, so I moved the camera a little bit. But anyway, I'm back. Got my night crawlers right there. We're gonna get one out. These kind of been out in the sun a little bit, but uh, there's some good worms in there. There's a good worm right there. A nice fat night crawler. I don't mess around with the mini crawlers. I like the full size units. I like the full size night crawlers, 12 in a can. Um, they just work better for me. So let me show you how you rig one of these up. First, let's talk a little bit about night crawlers in general. That is a, a standard issue night crawler. That, that pointy end there, that's the head, okay? That flat end there, that's the tail. Guess what? Most of the muscles, most of the strength is in the head end of that worm, and that's the firmest part. So that's what you want to be using. I take my worm just like that, right in the middle, and I break that worm into ow, and I throw the tail section away. Now I just got the head section of the worm. Take my hook. You don't want to gob them up on there. We're not out at the at the pond fishing for bluegill. We're fishing for trout. I just want to take that worm. And, uh, take that hook, pass that hook through the worm one time, very lightly, and I'm using a light wire hook, just like that. Now, we're ready to put some air pressure in that worm. You can buy a commercial worm blower. They're available in most tackle shops that sell worms. It's just a bottle with a little needle on it. You stick the needle in the worm, put in a little puff of air. He airs up. He's going to float up off the bottom. He's going to wriggle. He's going to gyrate. He's going to float. Fish are gonna smell them, they're gonna see them, they're gonna taste them, it's real meat. Fish on, baby. But what I like to use, rather than one of those commercial worm blowers, I like to use a hypodermic needle. You can get these at uh, agricultural supply stores and, and stuff like that. Hypodermics work really good. Very fine needle, pull it back, get some air in there, take your worm, get a hold of that hook, insert the needle in the worm and give him, watch, this, watch him pump up, see that? See him plump up right there? He is getting a good dose of air inside of his body. I told you it was bad to be, bad to be a night crawler. There we go, I'm gonna get a little more air in there. Pull that out. A little more air in this end, because I really want to make sure this, these guys float up nice. There we go, see him, see him plump up? He's like one of those hot dogs that they advertise. They plump well cooking, well guess what? You put a little air in a night crawler, they plump up nicely, that's gonna float up off the bottom. As I said, it's gonna wriggle, it's gonna gyrate, fish are gonna smell it, they're gonna see it, they're gonna taste it, they're gonna come in. Make sure you're fishing it on a slack line because they're gonna play with it a little bit. Next thing you know, they're gonna take off. When that line tightens up, it's fish on. Use a small hook, pass it through the worm one time. This is a natural presentation. You don't want to gob the worm up on there. 
that's about all there is to it guys i'm kel kellogg if you're looking for fishing gear or you'd like to hit the water with me up at collins lake go on over to fish hunt shoot Dot com and we will hook you up with what you're looking for. I'll see you soon, hopefully out here on the FHS patio boat, and we will be yelling, fish on. I'll catch you later.